And today I want to talk and film about this beautiful 2018 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon, which is the mid-year release and it has a lot of new things which before Jeep didn't have it. So it's the same as the look, suspension, engine, interior, dashboard and all kinds of stuff. On this car it's much better than the cars before. But especially this car has a lot of different modifications which has cost a lot of money for the owner who had this car. Since this car one owner uh, and it has 80,000 miles on the car so he spent a lot of money. I don't know how much. I'm not sure if it's uh, more than the car used to worth in 2018. But as you can see the wheels, the suspension, I'm going to show you a little bit of it. I, I have no idea about the brands they use it because there is a tons of different brands and uh, who produce a lot of things for you just pay money so just prepare if you want to do a lot of modification for your brand new jeep wrangler you have to spend a lot of money just prepare and put it on the side if you have a lot of credit cards just make sure you have them because you want those things which is on this car and not existed on the car which you're buying brand new from the factory so the quality of this car is just a jeep there is a quality on the suspension there is a quality on the frame there is a quality how you drive and over the rocks it's not the quality about the paint about the metal on this car as you can see right now i didn't see it before this is aluminum hood right and it's already corrosions on the side and it's not from the east coast i mean i think it was in the middle middle states but maybe i'm wrong and i need to check it again uh wheels on this car it's lifted i know some people they do love the huge tires but again if you're doing the huge tires like that your suspension your suspension limited on the way going up and down if you're going to put the regular tires on your regular rims you're going to have a more play in the suspension you can go you can climb in far away not like this car but again this one is lifted and the suspension has a lot of modification and you can see the control arms on it i can see that the sway bars and all that kind of stuff the axles the covers what they replaced it's just a lot of work it has aftermarket step sites and there is a lot of different labels and stickers there is a different brand but actually this brand that's about interior that's about the leather they put it on the seat instead of the cloth the original one so in this car if you want to buy it and you want to drive it off the road you want to climb somewhere you want to protect your transmission you want to protect your engine that's why here there is a covers installed right so there is a metal covers which is protecting your engine protecting your transmission if you want to clump and hit something it's not going to be a problem for you all the control arms which was replaced from the original to aftermarket they are adjustable i don't know how i don't know where you have to adjust it here but again if you understand what you're doing you can do it yourself if not just go to professional alignment shop they can do it for you for sure so there is a lot of different cover sequences the car is lifted and there is a lot of wires and different things going on so inside instead of fender lines you're gonna see the metal pieces which is protecting your wires protecting your fuel lane and some other parts from the dirt going inside the springs the shocks on this shock the, the control marks on, on this car it's all replaced and it's all going to give you a lot of joy when you're driving outside the bumpers especially made it for what you're right for the winch but winch was removed on this car since probably the previous owner loved it so much and he said i'm going to take it out and put it on my new one but again he left the bumper here which is not original it's off the market it's probably worth a lot of money and what you can do when you're driving through the wood you can just hit the tree whatever you want hit the rock and just keep going forward because you already covered it on the bottom you have a huge bumper which is not going to damage it for sure so the suspension on this car it's already been modified and i can see there is a control arms which has been replaced the steering on this car been improved and the shocks are different than the factory one and this car has 80,000 miles and i can see any leaks coming from transmission or engine which means the engine running still good and there is no sound at all and this engine if you compare with the old one it's improved it has a different horsepower i mean they did improvement job on the on the engine itself and i'm pretty sure this one gonna last longer it's not gonna do misfire or ticking knocking noise like it used to be before it's actually the same engine i mean before jeep they use the same engine as a grand caravan and some other things as a journey and blah 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 there is a duranga there is a lot of different cars right so the transmission on 2018 it's a little bit different than 2018 in the beginning of the year it has eight speed transmission and again some people who's doing off-roading a lot they say this transmission is really good for off-roading it's not going to go out and it lasts longer so we'll see i'm going to keep it for a while and drive it this weekend uh off the road it's actually going to be a nice trail i'm going to travel with my kids and uh, see what this car is going to give me i did see the sport edition which is, has a different headlights this is the rubicon and it has jeep performance led led lights so 
which is supposed to be much better than the regular one. And again, we're going to check it at night, how it looks like and how it works like. I'm going to open the hood and uh, see what's going on there, if there is any modifications, because again, some of the cars, when I'm opening the hood, I can see the air compressor, I can see the supercharger or something else. So under the hood, I do see a lot of different wires. I don't know where it's going for and for what, but uh, I mean, am I going to give you short and the car gonna burn itself at night, so it's gonna be much better than LED G performance lights. And there is something here at the boxes, the fuses, the wires, I mean, for something. So, should be fine, you know, and the engine computer, it's sitting on the top of it, so basically you can go up to this level if you're gonna put some proper air duct, which is supposed to be outside, like the FG Cruiser has. So it's gonna suck a lot of air, you can go through the water. But through the water here, I think I'm gonna go by the headlights because after that there is a PCM here there is a air duct and that's it the engine gonna suck air and it's gonna be dead but not yet so why do people love Jeep so much because it's kind of durable car it's so nice it's so easy to use plus in California it was a uh, kind of rainy weather right now it's gonna be rain but right now the sun is came so okay the sun is coming I'm gonna do this one two three four bam that's it so I'm gonna put this one in the trunk and I'm gonna drive it without it. It's nice, it's easy, it's simple. Why not? I'm gonna do one part, and after I'm gonna do the other one. And I do not care about the scratches I'm gonna make on those covers, because I do not care, it's a Jeep. I mean, who cares, who's checking the roof? Nobody checking the roof on this car, everybody checking what's going on outside the car. It is easy as one, two, three. So on the back, this Jeep looks like not original Jeep and it looks something different. So the rear bumper, it's super massive. It's super strong. So if you're going to go deep under the water or somebody, somebody can come behind you, hook it up and pull you out. So it even has a back light so you can turn it on for the people who's behind you they can hook you up there is one more light here and the previous owner for some reason he decided i don't want a spare tire anymore i need some extra gas because i'm going so far so deep so just give me extra gas so that's why he put it this so just some extra gallon of gas you can take it with you don't care about spare tire i don't know where you should get it but again if he didn't care about it i'm not gonna care about it either i'm just gonna drive it with extra gas why i need a spare tire for it so the interior on this car, as you can see, it's improved by Kotkin, which you can see the sides right here and on the seat itself. So it's not the original one. It, it is aftermarket seats, but it's so cool. It's so nice. I mean, you can clean it if somebody going to throw up inside while you're driving and they never did it before. There is some part inside. Uh, That's a sun visor and something else. I'm going to find out later. I don't need it right now. The cool part about the front foot compartment, that's the hole right there. So basically, whatever water coming in, it's going to go out. Don't worry about it. Just keep driving it and you're going to be fine. I don't think each car has that. I'm going to double check because I do have a 2019 and 2018 in stock. I'm going to check on those, but uh, not Rubicon. Rubicon 2018, I have only one. It's the one. The holes here, I think it's for water and I think it's for uh, Rubicon only. So what I can say at the end, of my journey with Jeep, my journey just beginning. And this weekend, I'm gonna try myself and try this car, how it's gonna look like. But again, I have a strong feeling I'm about, I'm gonna enjoy it so much, and am I gonna keep it for a while as a spare car, but same time, am I gonna put it for sale, but for some crazy money, because I do know how much it's worth it. Not only the car, but all modifications the car been made on. I know quite few people who enjoy off-roading and who enjoy the uh, Jeeps itself. Jeep Wrangler, not, uh, Lara, not uh, Cherokee, not Grand Cherokee, but the Jeep Wrangler itself. And I want to get the same feeling as they do have, which I don't have yet, but I'm close to that. I might going to do some small short video about how my experience going with this Rubicon 2018, but for now I love it so much and I can't wait this weekend how i'm gonna go off the town as we're driving this beautiful zombie apocalypse jeep wrangler 2018 with 80,000 miles on it uh what would i say is it comfortable driving i mean it's cool it's not so comfortable it's bumpy it's jumpy here and there there is no alignment again the car just came to me a couple days ago 
and I just clean it up, just the detail on it, and it's super nice and clean. But it's going left and right, so I'm gonna definitely take it to alignment. And uh, there is a lot of modification on the car, same as outside and same as inside. For example, this Cobra radio station. I have no idea how can you turn it on and if it's still working or not. No, it's not working. I can, I'm trying to turn it on, but it's not working. So it's some, some additional options the previous owner added and it's not working. So what is working, because it's a Rubicon, we do have a big screen in the middle, we do have a navigation, we do have a satellite radio, pretty much cool sound system with subwoofer on the back. We do have an opening top so I can unlock it and open it while I'm driving it, if somebody gonna handle and uh, trying to help me out to put it on the back seat. We do have a power windows. If you do have the same car, but sport, it's gonna be manual windows and no central locking system. So as a Rubicon, it has a sway bar. So, right, and it has a sway bar link, you can turn it off and you can go off-roading. It has a differential lock on the back, it has a differential lock in the middle. As a Rubicon, this car has some cool options as a differential lock. See, so you can lock both differentials on the back and on the front, or you can lock on the rear, rear one, depends how far you're going and what you want from this car. I mean, basically, if you're gonna buy the Jeep Wrangler and it's a Rubicon, you wanna you want to get a lot of, from this car. You want to go off-roading, you want to go on top of the hill, you want to climb something, you want to hit something. And this car is going to allow you to do so because like I showed you before, it has a lot of protection on the bottom. So you're going to you're going to cover your engine, you're going to cover your transmission, your drivetrain. And that's it, you're safe. If you see some rocks you want to jump over, you can do so. So also this car, it's not the basic, it's a Rubicon. It has a climate control, two zone on the left and the right. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of cool the AC working, but again, I think this, the climate control on this car, same as the sound system, it's not so much improved, it's just like an option, it has it, it's here, that's it, but I mean, if you need more air, just open your windows, or take the doors out and open the roof, and that's it, enjoy your life in California or somewhere else, if the weather allows you to do so. So is this car 2018 mid release, what is mean mid release, means before middle of 2018 it was previous body it was totally different inside and outside so this is kind of new body it came in 2018 and it's still going exactly the same i mean there is some options changing the dashboard exactly the same as 2018 so the seats on this car it's a cut skin that's why it's everywhere like there's a sign there's a logo on the doors there's a logo on the seat so basically that cut skin you can buy it online that's some company who's producing the leather parts you can remove your cloth seats and put that leather seat. If you compare this car to the previous body, which I do have it also, uh, it's pretty much a lot of difference, a lot of improvements. On the cluster, it's completely different. There is a lot of digital things. You love it. There is a climate control. You love it. It's not like the old one, but this one, this one looks so cool and it's so easy to use, like the door locks and unlocks, the sound system, the backup camera everything everything whatever you touch and even the shifter on this car on the rubicon is a little bit different than the regular one it has a red button here release button and it's and it's so big it's so nice you can you can feel it rubicon is the top of the line for off-roading so basically you can adjust the sway bar links you can lock your differentials it's just the top of the line to do off-roading i mean again you're gonna spend a lot of money and do a lot of additions on this car to improve your off-roading but it's like a Subaru STI, you buy it from the factory and go places right away, not thinking about something gonna happen. Maybe something gonna happen to you, but you're gonna fix it. As a compartments in this car, there's not so many places to hide your, your things. For example, here you can put your, uh, your water. There's some compartments you can put your stuff inside, but again, the glove box is so small, it's same as in the old body style, there is nothing to do there. Just the manual books, the middle, the middle armrest, it has a huge box and you can put a lot of stuff inside, but again, this one, ah, yeah, you can lock it, there is a lock here, so in case your top is out and you need to lock it to protect it, but don't hope it's gonna save your money or save your phone. So if you like what I'm doing, just put the like, if you don't like it, just put this like, I don't really care what you're gonna put, but if you're gonna put some comments and tell me, you know, I'm there for holding too, I do have the same car, let's go somewhere on this weekend, for sure I'm gonna join you and we're gonna go together and try our cars. Thank you so much for watching it and let's see the next video.